Hi, everybody. So we're just going to wait a little bit for more people to join, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So let's just wait. Do you want to give out, like, I didn't... Actually, no, nobody's in yet. We'll wait until some more people are in first. Yeah. So people are slowly joining. Mm-hmm. And while we start, do you want to just say the instructions or like the, the Let's ability? introduce ourselves first. Let's introduce ourselves, okay. okay. Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Caitlin, and we're from the FTC Robotics Team Proteins. Mm-hmm. And in collaboration with Best Buddies, we're doing a series of Instagram Lives where we do STEM experiments every Sunday. Mm-hmm. And so this week, we'll be making a shaving cream rain cloud. For this experiment, you'll need four different cups to throw water in, and you'll need water as well. A jar such as this one. Like a mason jar like this, or like any big jar. Mm-hmm. Some shaving foam or shaving cream. Food and coloring. D- different different colors. colors of food coloring. You can get as many many colors as you want, mm-hmm. or as little as you want, but it just makes the different colored greens. And an eyedropper. You can use an eyedropper or a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon or like a syringe, anything that can squirt water. Mm-hmm. So this is our eyedropper. Mm-hmm. And as well, you need when you have like when you have your four cups, I don't know if you can see it well beneath like the chat, but the, within these four cups, you're gonna wanna fill them with water, not all the way so it doesn't spill, but about like about just enough water, water to that just you enough. think we'll need for the rain, the rain of the experiment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you wanna get started? Do you think and let's wait a little a bit for everybody okay. to gather the materials. All right. Mm-hmm. This week is actually our last experiment, right. right? So yeah, it's hard. It's really hard to believe we've done like six weeks of these experiments so far. Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. this is today's last. Oh, mm-hmm. if you guys missed what we did in the previous weeks, you can go go look in our Instagram pages. And for last week, we did um, the rainbow paper towel day, mm-hmm. if you recall. Um, and if you guys want are wondering about that, you can check in our Instagram page or in Best Buddies Instagram page for that recording. And it was a really interesting experience. Yeah, experience, it was really, right? really, really fun to see the to see the capillary action, like you know, draw the colors and create a really nice rainbow bridge. Yeah, and I think our series of Instagram mm-hmm. lives have been really cool, right? Yeah, really they were fun. really fun and enjoyable. I had a wonderful, wonderful time making them. Yeah, and it was like um, we're very thankful for Best Buddies for this collaboration, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so now if we want to get started, do you think that's a good time to start? Yeah, I think so, we should mm-hmm. be good now. All right, so to get started off, once you have, you know, your four jugs so or four it cups and you fill them with water. Yeah, so for these, um, this is basically the brain part of our experiment. So you don't need four cups. It depends on how many different colors you have. But today we have four colors, so we're going to be making four different colors of rain. So let's get our food coloring here. So we here, we have green, yellow, red, and blue. You can use any colors you really want. It doesn't really matter. Just pick the ones that you like the most. Yeah, so we're going to be using this and the four cups over here to make our rain, right? So, so how, do you, how do we do this? So it's pretty simple. You just take your food coloring and you're going to add a couple drops to your water. And you'll notice that almost instantly it turns blue. You yeah. use blue for coloring. Um, so. The amount of drops you add really depends on how much water you have. But as long as um, there's enough to dye the whole water. For like darker colors, you might not need to add as much food coloring as lighter colors. Mm-hmm. But it's just really proportionate. So as Justin's adding the water. Couple drops. One drop. Two drops. Three drops because we have a lot of water here. We're using a couple more drops. If you have a lower volume of water, obviously you will, you you end up using less drops. And if you want like darker rain or like lighter rain, it depends. But this one's gel, so you might want to add a little bit. It's just one drop here should be good, I think. Yeah. Put that bit on the end. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. So then we're gonna get something to mix the colors, mm-hmm. and we have our popsicle yeah. stick from before. These are actually guys... from a previous experiment, if you guys remember. They yeah. Our jumbo catapult. And you can definitely go check it out in our mm-hmm. Instagram feed. Would definitely recommend. Yeah. And if you notice now, some of these colors have begun to sit at the bottom, so we're just using a popsicle stick to stir them around just to yeah. mix it a bit more. But you can use any utensil that you have at home. All right. So we'll just stir them. Yeah. And we're just gonna start it to really makes the color a lot deeper. And of course, you don't want to mix colors, so you're going to want to flip your popsicle stick to the other end, or whatever stirring tool you're using. Or just get another. Yeah, or get get another utensil, yeah, to prevent cross-contamination. All right, I think these blue and yellows look pretty good. I'll just put this to the side. Yeah, I'll just put the 
about this. All right. Yeah, since the red food coloring we have here is a gel type, so you mm -hmm. might be get, um, using different types of food coloring. There's like liquid-based ones and gel-based ones. Um, you might need to mix a little bit longer if it's gel-based. If you think your color is a bit too light, we highly recommend that you add a bit more food coloring just to, you know, make it a bit darker so it pops a bit better during the later parts of this experiment. Okay, right. so here we have our four colors, if you can see. We've got blue, yellow, green, and red. And we added just enough food coloring mm -hmm. so that uh, the color is pretty solid and pretty bold, right? Mm -hmm. And so next you need your mason jar or really any sort of big see-through jug of sorts. And we filled that about, I'd say, halfway-ish with water. A little bit more than half, but mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. It just really matters to the proportion of the water to the shaving cream. Yeah. All right, do you want to add the shaving cream? Yeah. So after we fill our mason glass with water, we are going to be adding our shaving cream. Mm -hmm. This is just some uh, any shaving cream that you can find at like the supermarket. So we're going to just add it on top. Since um, this is kind of a mm -hmm. tall bottle, you're going to have to try to fill it all. If you're having this in trouble, we highly recommend that you like ensure that your shaving cream can is full. And usually because these are, you know, fuel compressed air, you might not want to turn them downwards all the way because that can yeah. make things a bit more difficult. So and keep them at about like, a sh like shake well as well, obviously. Yeah, I remember to shake before using it. So we're going to try to fill all the corners. Oh, and you can like get your popsicle stick popsicle push, it down. Down. push it down a little. This because thing. this is a pretty tall container, mm -hmm. you using might a shorter need to push one, it down. Obviously, you probably won't need as much. You probably won't need to push it down, right? Because mm -hmm. um, you would be able to fill it all up. I can fill the edges with that. All right. Fill the edges now. Just fill it with more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep pushing it down. I think that looks pretty good, honestly. Do you want to add a little add a bit more? Yeah. It doesn't... The amount of shaving cream you add doesn't really matter as long as it looks like a cloud, right? Mm -hmm. So the shaving cream, as you can see here, is our cloud. And now we're going to drop the rain, right? Uh -huh. So for this, we'll be using a eyedropper. As you see over here. So since this is like more of a fun experiment, mm -hmm. you can like kind of experiment with how you drop the rain onto the cloud, like the different containers mm -hmm. you use and how um, it'll, mm -hmm. the rain will look different. So and first, oh, we're going to get the... Sorry. Oh, Let's bring it to the front, right? All right, so the closest everybody can see. So, so we're going to get mm -hmm. our colored rain, right? We've got blue here in this case. And then we're going to get our eye drops. If you don't have an eye drop, it's okay. You can use a substitute. You can use a syringe or even just like, you know, one of those small measuring cups as well. Yeah. So once we get our um, rain, we are going to get some of the blue color into our eye drop. Okay, we don't need too much. You don't need too much coloring. And then you're just gonna, you know, squeeze some of it into your cloud. Yeah. So as we so squeeze... It starts to pull up a bit, but then slowly it starts to, you know, drip through and towards see, the bottom. If you can see, it's go slowly going to the cloud, and soon it'll get go into the water, and it'll look like rain. Mm -hmm. You might want to wait a little as it's sinking through. It takes a little bit for it to happen, but it's really, really cool once it does. Yeah, and as you can, if you observe, you can see at the bottom of the cloud, you can start to see the blue rain. You can see the blue rain start to condense at the bottom, and slowly it'll eventually end up breaking through. All yeah, right. and it's kind of like rain now, right? Mm -hmm. You can see. We just have to wait a little. And while we're waiting for this, you can try to use the different colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use green in this case. Do you want to sh get a bit of a closer view? So that's green. We're just going to squeeze the bottle, and then it's just going to suck up this green food coloring water. And mm -hmm. then we're gonna find we're like gonna, a different corner. I think we're gonna use the bottom corner right back here. I'll turn this around so everybody can see to the opposite end, and we're just gonna squeeze some rain into there. Yeah, and as you can see, our blue rain is already um, going through the cloud and starting to rain down. As mm -hmm. our and our green is also you can you can also see that our green you is can also see coming. Our green dripping down as well. Mm -hmm. Just pour the rest of it down there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. So we can really cool observe right now. Yeah, we can really observe it's like rain coming down, but it may actually take some time for it to mm -hmm. actually drip down like rain. Mm -hmm. And then we can wait a little before we add mm -hmm. our different colors. Just but give it some time to settle. Yeah, but this is really like the part to experiment with. You can mm -hmm. add different colors. Like you can decide how much of each mm -hmm. color you add, where you're adding it. This is just a fun experiment to play with. 
As well, I know not all of you are going to have all the colors of the rainbow. So if you want to make some new colors, we highly recommend that you know you mix them with your existing colors as well. So for example, yellow plus blue would make green. So if you didn't have green, for example, you can just mix yellow and blue. Yeah, that's true. And um, this is the point of this experiment is really to observe like the rain mm -hmm. action going through the cloud. Um, it's just a really fun experiment with different colors, like, mm -hmm. and it's just to have fun with. Yeah, yeah. just have fun. All right, I think it's starting to condense pretty well though. So if you want to try, you can add another color. Yeah, I'm going to add the red now. Ooh. Mm. All right. You can really see the colors going through. I thought I'm going to start to turn this so our viewers can get a bit of a better yeah, view. Let's turn it the red's coming in yeah, from I'm right there. Yeah, I'm the red at the top of the cloud and it's going through and raining down. Mm -hmm. I think this is honestly one of our coolest experiments yet. Yeah. And as it's going, it's going down like rain. And you can really see the colors mixing and then raining. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So even though as you can see actually, if you get a bit of a closer view here, you can start to see, you know, a bit of some green dripping down just like rain through the water. Yeah. So I think then just to hold it along, we're going to add a bit of some yellow. A I feel bit like darker. the yellow is a little yeah, bit light. Yeah, I think the yellow is a bit light. We can add some. Yeah, you can as you oh, and if, if you can see the red's really dripping through, mm -hmm. and that's really like the effect of rain. So I think here because we've used a actually a gel based food coloring for the red, it's kind of yeah, it's a um, bit more effective. Yeah, because it's um heavier. So if you have gel based, it's better to add gel based. If you don't, you can try to you can add more food coloring. So that's really that's some really heavy red rain there. Some extra food coloring does help to substitute if you don't have a gel base. Really, that red is really looking really good. Okay. Do the rest here. And so now we're just going to have fun with the rest, right? And mm -hmm. we can add different colors. I want to add more green. I think this blue is looking a bit light too, so just add a couple extra drops of blue just to make it a bit darker. Just to help carry it along a bit. Stir that a bit. Wow, you can really see the yellow starting to rain down too, and the red. Mm -hmm. This is looking quite good, honestly. Look at the top, how really your rainbow colored it is. Yeah, so this is like our rainbow rain cloud, mm -hmm. right? So you yeah. can really experiment because if you use like different mm -hmm. shapes, different shaped yeah. jars, mm -hmm. um, the rain will look different too, right? Mm -hmm. and now it's like a mix of the um, red and the yellow. As well, you can also experiment with how much shaving foam you or shaving cream that you use. More shaving cream is going to result in you know a thicker cloud, obviously. So it's going to end up changing your results. I'm just going to add a bit more blue food coloring down here. Yeah. A bit more. Mm -hmm. So you can really, really see nice the rain, like mm -hmm. the rainbow rain coming down, right? Like the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just really a cool sight to see with lots of different mixtures of colors. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. definitely agree with that. Do you want to maybe try making some new colors as well? I think yeah. I've done pretty well so far with these. Okay, should we make like an orange or like... Sure, pink? let's make an orange. Yeah, so for orange, we mm -hmm. will be mixing red, our red and yellow. yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit of yellow into my eyedropper, mm -hmm. like here. It kind of like looks like green because we already have Yeah, green. we already have like, it. Green, yeah. And then we're just going to squeeze it mm. before... Oh, <laughs> we have an accident there. We're just going to squeeze it a bit beforehand and then we're just going to get some red. Yeah. You know, it's in the bottle, it makes this really, really nice orangey, green, orange, orange. And then now we can make orange rain. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have enough colors, you can definitely try to use this method mm -hmm. of mixing. And I'm just going to drip down the orange rain. Oh, look at that. If you look through this side, the orange rain has completely pierced through there. Yeah, it's and it's starting to rain down. Mm -hmm. Like, to make, when mixing, and while it's raining, it's kind of mixing with like the colors that were already mm -hmm. in there. But it's a cool sight to see, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think as well, I'm going to add a bit of some green and red. Just want to see what that ends up becoming. Yeah, you can experiment with mixing up different colors. Really, really fun. Got a bit of some green there. I'm just going to get a small bit of some red. Okay. And well, I think I made a really, really nice purple over there. I don't know if you guys can see. I That's think it's more like a brown. Brownish purple, purple yeah. yeah. And we're going to pour that like right down okay. here. It's more like a maroon, I think. I think a very nice maroon, yeah. Oh, actually, it looks quite orangish. 
bit difficult to find a spot to add it's this. It's okay, to. just do it anywhere. Just do it right here, yeah. Oh, you can see that our oh, new wow, color is going really through the cloud. dark, yeah. yeah. You might notice your cloud becomes a bit dark here, adding a lot of colors. And if that does happen, you want to just, you know, start over to change things up. You can just pour out the water yeah. in the shaving cream. So, mm -hmm. like, the fun part of this experiment is that since mm -hmm. you have all, all the materials you need already, you can just make yeah, different clouds. You can do different clouds, make new ones. Yeah. You can yeah. pour it out and make mm -hmm. new clouds. Yeah, and it's really cool, right? It's really, really enjoyable, yeah. Okay, so this I is think, basically our experiment, I think right? we're pretty done with here so far. If you can look at our Good final look project. at how it looks at our final project. See, there's a really nice swirl of colors in the center. Yeah, but I think the best part was actually watching each color yeah, actually really bring it down. But like, af because after it's mixed, it's like just mm -hmm. all the colors mixed together. But the actual um, moment mm -hmm. when you make down, it was really cool. It's really right? fun. I especially love you know how vibrant the top of the cloud looks actually. You can just you can really just see this really really nice vibrant red reddish pink that we have. I really yeah. really love how that ended up as well. It's just like really a rainbow mm -hmm. cloud. Yeah, right? really really enjoyable okay. to watch as well. Yeah. All right. So this is basically our experiment mm -hmm. for me, right? Um, yeah. And I hope you guys had fun mm -hmm. with this experiment. Yeah. You can um, change different mm -hmm. things and experiment your way. And uh, we had really a lot of we fun. We had a lot of fun as well, yeah. We had a lot of fun throughout this experiment experience, experience collaborating with mm -hmm. Best Buddies. And I think, honestly, this was a really, really enjoyable and fun experience overall. Yeah, the... Lots of experiments that we did, mm -hmm. and we got to learn new things ourselves too. Right? Mm -hmm. So I hope all of you guys have enjoyed us, uh, you know, uh, or enjoyed our journey along with us. And with that, I think this concludes today's vlog. Yeah, today's experiment mm -hmm. and our collaboration with Best Buddies. It, mm -hmm. Today it will be our last experiment. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. So but we when, wish all of you, you know, the best. And yeah. of course, we really, really do thank Best Buddies for giving us this wonderful opportunity to share these experiments mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, but um, you guys can also come visit us on mm -hmm. our Instagram page, which we will be active on. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for next September when the next FTC season does in fact start, and we will be, you know, obviously posting more and showcasing our robot as well. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Right? Yep. Okay. Right. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Close it there.